You see anything missing? That's right, a golf club. Mario Golf Super Rush. Yes, I did sneeze while saying that title. Being developed by a longtime running developer, Camelot. Being announced in Nintendo Direct of February 2021. Development! Who needs that anyways? There isn't much. Now, of course, Mario Golf Super Rush is just golf. Son of a bitch. Why, well, yes, it did release on June 25th, 2021. Mario Golf is the one game that I actually cannot say anything bad about. This is out of my control. I get very upset when it comes to me falling asleep uncontrollably. This game initially had really nothing in terms of content when it first released though. Over time, there was updates to give new courses and characters. This is a sort of move in the gaming industry. No more paid DLC maps and things like that. We have now free updates and battle pass. Activision was first to do this. Now, I'm not going to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and the free updates adding maps from Black Ops 2 because they've done something to me very wrong and I know of. Mario Golf Super Rush being the first HD Mario Golf game. In some areas, this game is groundbreaking and in other areas, it kind of feels like it's similar to other golf games. Since the last entry in the series on Call was Mario Golf Toadstool Tour on the GameCube. Man, not even a golf game was released on Wii or Wii U, which are the two best places for a Mario Golf game, because you have motion controls, but Nintendo thought Mario Strikers would be a better fit. No more off track. There were simply two control methods here, the button control method to get the classic Mario Golf vibe going, and the motion controls. This is worth it. Now, of course, Mario Golf Super Rush came only with a few courses in the package. Classic Nintendo style. Now, you remember me telling you about updates. Yes, this is how my course select now looks like a nutrition label. Mario Kart 8 needs some of these, though. Yes, Mario Kart 8, the one thing that seems strange in the course select, especially for the new DLC. Nintendo, I don't think you really care about golfing video games a whole lot. Please not again. There hasn't been very many golf games that Nintendo have made. So yeah, looking at Nintendo's history with this sport, it's kind of a hit or miss. Now that might seem like a lot, but it's not really when looking at the ratio between Mario games and golf games. Crack open that bottle of champagne because we have a new mode where it's chaos. <laughs> this was a perfect mode to play. It was the most realistic part of the game. I spent $60 on this. This is really the only mode I want to play anymore. It has the players race to compete courses in the fastest time. After each swing, players must run across the course towards the ball to make their next shot. But you know, we have to talk about this on the road. This is the main selling point of the entire system itself. Kinda. So the controls are kind of weird, especially the motion control method. It feels like it's supposed to be the most realistic game. Now it's weird. Eyes to anyone? button controls are kind of weird too. That is probably just me not being used to the button golf games and more than motion control games. Similar how I'm used to Just Dance and not Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Come on! At its core, this is just a golf game. Nothing really more. Nintendo can spice this game up all they want, but at the end of the day, PGA Tour is on my Nintendo Switch now. 